fried rats. This time I have 11 quick tips or tricks for getting good on customs. Including some sniping spots, some magic tricks, and of course, some parkour. Hi, hurry up, hyena! Number one, the big red shelf. Near the sign entrance, get next to the fallen shelf and use the right leg to get to the top. Control the inside of the big red or peek out to get some easy kills in the grassy area. Or you can jump on the metal beam to get to the top of the next shelf. You can go three shelves in. Once you get to the last one, the whole garage compound will disappear. Just like the rear sight on my MP7. The objects are invisible but still there, can't shoot through them, you can only see through them. Yo, hold up, hold up, before you smash that dislike button, let me tell you something because you don't know nothing. I'm not teaching people how to glitch, I just don't keep secrets to myself and I want people to be aware and expect uh, things. Would you rather not know about this? Next! Number 2, Trailer Park Cabin Sniper, arguably the worst spawn you can get on customs. When I'm playing solo, I like to take it slow from here. If I will be pushing the rails, where we have another PMC spawn, I like to get on top of the first container on the right. This spot is also a nice counter to all the chats that like jumping on top of the garages on the roofs. You can also snipe the entrance to the customs office and get easy kills while your enemies are stuck in the unlocking animation. Also good for doing shooter born in heaven. Number 3. Become a tree. First. We need to pick up the appropriate camouflage, which is the ghillie suit. Then choose our favorite spear and we are now ready to go bear hunting. Near the drug lab, just outside of it, there is a blue skip with a concrete slab in it. Get on top, line up the concrete with the tree's trunk and jump. From here you can give your enemies some Vietnam vibes. Number 4, 5 and 6, the old gas sniper plus rotation. The first spot is a rather popular one. Get on top of the train carriage. You can see the fence jump over. You can snipe the new gas station for easy kills on Rishala and his goons. Or maybe even kill a PMC at the radio tower. You can also snipe the new construction building, also known as the stronghold. However, Haina recommends jumping over to the red containers instead, which will be our second sniper spot here. I like to add a little twist to it to make it better. Instead of sniping from the train or the right container, where you will be exposed from too many angles, I recommend going to the one on the left and going prone behind the little concrete pillar for some extra cover. This way, when you get carried away sniping, you will be hard to spot even when your enemy gets close to you. While we are here at the old gas, I will show you the last part of the tree, the rotation over the fence. I will save you time or give you options. If you have high strength, you can just straight up do a side jump over the white fence. If your legs are weak, don't worry, there is an alternative way to do it. It only requires two extra jumps. Number 7. Windows instead of doors. Entering the dorms, building through a door is obsolete. Only since recently we are able to enter through a window. This gives players a lot more options and is a lot less riskier. I have prepared some tactics for entering through the windows for another video. For now, I'm just gonna let you know that you can enter the last room here in which the door is unusable. This is a nice spot to do your surgeries in peace. Number 8. M67 Landing Sweep When pushing the third floor from the internal stairs, you have to go through one of the worst choke points. You will have to check too many angles and to make your situation better, go down to the first floor, main entrance. Go out the door, just so you barely see the window. If you are squared up with it, the grenade will go too far and get on the stairs. Stay on a slight angle and your grenade will land near the column. By the time he explodes, you should be up there, top of the stairs. Number 9. Hold my mark room. For the next one, 
You will need two keys considered by most useless, number 308 and 315. Works when you are near the mark room and fighting multiple enemies. Create yourself a barricade using the two doors. Enemies trying to push you will have to give away a hundred sound cues, at least blocking their vision, making throwing grenades difficult and having to jump over obstacles to interrupt their attack, you will create yourself a comfort zone. Next time, before you rush looting the mark room, set up the ambush. Don't forget you can also rotate from the balcony but that's for another video. Number 10. The Old Construction Supervisor Instead of using the more predictable sniper position, head over to the blue skip with the concrete column. Get inside and square up the corners of the blue... the... Uh, yeah, hold on brother, I'm talking! So, anyway, line up the corners and jump. This is the supervisor's office, where you also have a bonus crate. From here, you can proceed and jump on the metal frame and then on the fuel tanks behind it. But I don't really see any practical reason to do that. Only if you want to impress your date and look cool. Number 11. So, you want more parkour? When at the boiler side of customs, get in the first warehouse and right next to the USEC stash room, there is a small toilet. You can get inside and jump on the sink. From here, you can do absolutely nothing but to pick up the gold chain that spawns here on the floor. I'm sorry. I'll be showing you more parkour and other random tips or tricks in the next video. I haven't decided what map will be next, so drop your requests below. As well as your criticism or complaints or whatever is on your mind. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay safe guys and I wish you all the best. Auf Wiedersehen.